What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. In today's video, I'm going to talk about a brand new update we have received from Samsung for one of its features within the settings menu. Let me show you that, let's go to the Galaxy store here. I'll tap on updates. Now here you can see we have got the update for nearby device scanning. Now this is an important update for those of you guys who are facing some issues in the connectivity, maybe with your Galaxy Buds or Galaxy Watch or any of the devices that you connect to your phone. Let me tap on the update details here. As you can see, the latest version here is 11.1.22.8 and the update date says 29 December 2025, but I just got the update today. And this update is also available on the Galaxy S24 series and perhaps on the S23 series as well. The size is just about 7.2 MB. And uh, this is the feature. This is not an application as such specifically. You will not find this on Galaxy Store as such if you search for nearby device scanning. But this is a setting, a feature, which is on the Galaxy phones One UI 8.0, 8.5, 7.0, or any of the uh, versions of the One UI. Now, let me just go ahead and show you the change log here. It says One UI 8.5 updates. And I also saw the same change log on the Galaxy S24 as well. Now, there is nothing specifically added with respect to One UI 8.5 as such, but we will definitely go ahead and take a look at that. Next, it says support glasses quick pair. Now, uh, Samsung's VR glasses were released a few months ago, and that also supports the quick pair now with this all new updates. I'm not very sure whether it was supporting before because I don't have a VR headset with me. But yeah, if you have one, you can always check it. It will now support the glasses quick pair. And we also have bug fixes and stability improvements. Like I said, if you're facing any issues in connecting your uh, Samsung devices to the phone, then this should fix it. Let's go ahead and update the application. And now let's try connecting the buds that we have. This is the buds 3 regular. Let me just open this to connect it. As you can see, it just got connected over here. For some reason, I did not see the pop-up here. Let me try this again. There it is. So if you're seeing any lag in this specific pop-up or uh, in connecting the device to the phone, then this update should be fix fixing that issue. Let me also show you another feature that we have when you go to the quick panel. You've got this new toggle called nearby devices. This was made available on One UI 8.0 itself or I think One UI 7. When you tap on that, you will see this beautiful animation and you will get all those devices which are available uh, in your area, in your room. And you can just drag this. Let's say I want to press and hold on this. I will drag it here to connect it to this phone here. And you can just tap on done to connect the monitor to the phone. The TV is turned off, so maybe that's the reason it is not connecting. Let's say I want to connect my S24 Ultra. I can drag it here and drop it here. Now you can see we have got the storage share and auto hotspot connection. We can connect any of these. Now storage share is a new feature which is available on 8.5. This feature was available on 8.0 as well, but we couldn't really connect another phone to access the files. But now it is available. As you can see, I can either use the hotspot or I can use the storage share here. I just enable storage share here. Let's go ahead and check this out. I will have to give an access to the uh, to the storage share here. As you can see, I'll tap on allow. Now the storage share is available. I can tap on open here to open all the files and folders from this device. So all this can be accessed through nearby share toggle right there on your quick panel. Now let's go ahead and take a look at these settings. You see, this is how the connected device looks now on One UI 8.5. It gets the color palette as well. As you can see, it's in green tint, which looks beautiful. Now let's go to the connections. And here you will see more connection settings. We've got nearby device scanning over here. When I tap on this, the toggle is enabled. And if you don't want your phone to constantly search for the devices around you, then you can always turn this off. This might save some amount of battery. Even though it's very efficient in battery consumption, you may want to disable it if you are someone who don't use the connected devices around you. So that is something to note here. So this is about the nearby device scanning. We have got the brand new update, currently available for One UI 8, 8.5. Let me know if you have got this update or not, drop a comment. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel. More than 70% of you guys who watch my contents have not subscribed. I tell this in every video so that you guys can go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That doesn't cost you anything, but you will get to learn a lot and I get motivated a lot to keep coming up with some interesting contents for you guys. Go ahead and hit that like button as well. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers, bye-bye.